Assalamu alaikum my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam. The high cost of marriage is causing many young couples to wait several years before they can marry. We live in a society where the haram is easy while many of our parents make the halal hard. Now why you gotta make it hard? Many parents today expect extravagant weddings while they put their kids into nothing but debt. Did you know the average cost of a wedding is $25,000? Not only that, but... Wait, did you say $25,000? Rewind the tape. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's six thousand two hundred fifty dollars per hour. One hundred and four dollars per minute. A dollar seventy three per second. A dollar seventy three per second? Yes. By the time I finish this sentence, you have now paid ten dollars. Ah! Most of us are in our twenties when we're trying to get married, barely getting out of school, just starting our careers, trying to pay off college expenses. And you want to jump into this $25,000 hole? How's that for a marriage gift? This is for us? Thank you. Congratulations, you are in debt for $25,000? Thank you? What? Joke! Joke! By the time I save up this money, I'll be in my 30s. And then society teaches us to wait, have fun when we get married, and wait till we uh, get a little bit older to have kids. What, am I supposed to wait till I'm 40 until I start having kids? By the time my kid's 10 years old, I'm 50. I'm an old man. Let's go play soccer, Grandpa! I'm not your grandpa, I'm your dad! Whatever happened to getting married when we're young? Protecting us from temptations. And back to the $25,000 thing. Now where am I supposed to get $25,000 from? Hey bro, we're not even talking about the dowry yet, we're just talking about the wedding day. First off, the whole wedding thing is not a day. It lasts only a few hours. Second, yeah, I'm gonna remember this because I'm gonna be paying for it for the rest of my life. For those who've never attended one of these fancy weddings, let me break it down for you so I can tell you what you're missing. Imagine sitting alone at a table in a fancy hall. Wondering where everyone is. Quickly learning that you're the last person to figure out that 6 p.m. on the invitation really means 7 p.m. Getting dressed up in uncomfortable clothes, sitting in a huge hall and saying, Wow, this must be expensive. Getting free refills of soda, eating fancy food, staring at the wedding program, saying salam to the people you only see at weddings, funerals, and Eid, signing guest books, playing with your napkin, taking pictures with the bride and groom, hearing speeches by friends and family crying and saying goodbye. By the way, why are you saying goodbye? They're not dying, they're just getting married. Watching his and her PowerPoint presentations. Once again, who came up with this idea? Do you remember when you were a kid and your friends would come over? Your parents would take out your baby pictures and they would show it to them? And you would sit there and they would laugh at you? And you had to put on that fake smile? You know which smile I'm talking about. Imagine that, but times ten. This time, you're in a suit, sitting in the spotlight, on stage at your wedding. And all those pictures you thought you burned are now back. On the big screen. On a wall sized projector. Everyone's looking at it and laughing. <laughs> Everyone and their mama's laughing at you and you can't do nothing about it. But there is an alternative. Try this. Google the web to find inexpensive wedding invitations. Wow, I can really save some money. How about having your wedding at the best location? The masjid. You'll save a grip of money and what honor is better than getting married at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's house. You can set the time between uh, salat times if you want. Let's say Maghrib to Isha. That way people get there on time. Can you imagine the reward of bringing a hundred people to the masjid to pray two salats? That is what I'm talking about man. Contact your local halal restaurant and ask them for a deal. You know how they say? Hook it up. So give me a good deal. Huh? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mwah! And finally, and most importantly, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make a pure intention. Because if you do it only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your reward is with Him. And if you do it for the people, your reward is with them. And if you don't do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're getting ripped off. Ripped off. $25,000 ripped off. And even if you try to save money, you're still getting ripped off. Anyways, the whole thing shouldn't cost you more than a couple thousand dollars. So with all the money you save, you and your wife can start traveling. Be debt free. Maybe even have enough money to go to Hajj. Together. That's what I'm talking about. Start off your marriage on the right foot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot. This is Ali reminding you just in case you forgot.